Now, an important concept to understand when we're graphing lines or understanding lines is the concept of the slope. Now, the slope, which is usually um, signified by the letter M, is the rise of a graph over the run of a graph. Or you can think of it as the change in Y over the change in X. And now you can see that this is true if I give you um, axes where X is the horizontal axis and Y is the vertical axis. When you change the Y coordinate, you're going upwards. So that's considered the rise. That's where the rise comes from. And when you're changing X, Y stays the same and you're just going um, to the left or to the right, which is where the run comes from. And now, if, for example, I give you two points on the axes, so let's say I give you one point here at x equals 3, y equals 0, and one point here at x equals 0, y equals 2. So let me label these points. This is known as 3, 0, and this one is known as 0, 2. And now, if we're trying to find the slope of a line going through it, this line, how we evaluate it is the change in y over the change in x. Now, the change in y, well, y goes from 0, which is in this point, it goes up to 2. So the change in y, in this case, can be thought of as the difference between 0 and 2. And similarly, the change in x, well, x goes from 3 all the way to 0. So the change in x can be thought of as 3 minus 0, the difference between the two coordinates. So if I wanted to compute the slope of this line, I would take the change in y, over the change in x, as the definition states. And since we know the change in y is 0 minus 2, which is negative 2, and the change in x is 3 minus 0, which is 3, thus our slope is negative 2 thirds. Now, in general, we have this definition, which is called the slope formula. It states the slope of the line containing any two points, so x1 and y1 is one point, and the second point is x2 and y2. It's given by this formula, which you can reconcile with the example above. So you take the y coordinates and you subtract them from each other, and you divide that by the x coordinates, subtract that, subtracting that from each other. And you want to make sure that x1 is not equal to x2, because then we'll have a zero in the denominator which would make the expression undefined.